guys welcome back um today i'm going to show you how to draw this really cute grumpy gorilla um he looks really cute he looks almost as if he'd be like one of the grumpy characters in a book so i thought he'd be fun to learn how to draw in case you're working on a story or maybe you'd like to work on a comic and you can add him as a character all right so to get started all you're going to need is a piece of paper and a pencil and an eraser, that's really important. That's a really helpful tool for us. Um, I've gone ahead and drawn one just to give you an example of what it will look like, but I'm gonna clear it away and I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how to make your own. So go ahead, grab your pencil, grab your things that you need and we'll get started. I'm gonna break this down to you into simple shapes because I think that that will be a very easy way to get started. So if you look at his head, you'll notice that his head is not a very big round rectangle. Not round, sorry, but it does have rounded corners, but it is a rectangle. So that's what we're gonna start off with. We're gonna start off with a very large rectangle and I'm just going to put it right in the center of my paper. So I start with one line going down. I might move some space over, make another line going down. And then sometimes it helps to turn your paper to the side. And then I'm going to connect those bottom lines and I want to connect the two top lines. And this when I turn my paper back, you'll see is a nice square rectangle. Now, my gorilla isn't exactly square. It does have rounded corners. Here's how we can do that. I'm going to put a little round circle. Oops, looks like I changed my pen on accident. I'm going to put a round circle right in the corner. So do you see how I kind of made this little triangle shape? I want to do that on each corner. So I'm going to turn my page around and I'm going to make this little rainbow shape just to kind of make my corners more round. I'm going to turn my page. It's a lot easier when you're drawing to turn your page instead of trying to get comfortable in a whole new position. So feel free to turn your page to make it easier for yourself. All right, and once we've got all four of those corners rounded, we're gonna take our eraser. So go ahead and get your eraser, and we're going to carefully erase the corners. So those triangles that we made, we're gonna take off the top point, and that's gonna help us to get a rounded corner. So we're gonna go around to all the corners, and we're just going to carefully erase the points away okay and I, I'm zooming in and out because I'm using an iPad but that kind of helps you see a little bit better so that's why I'm using an iPad just so you can see better but I've done this before on paper and pencil and it comes out just the same all right and I'm gonna do my last corner I'm just gonna erase erase that point away because I don't want to square or rectangle head I kind of wanted to have round edges so there we go now you can see we've gotten rid of those pointy corners so that's good now if you have any areas that you feel like oh I don't really like that go ahead and clean it up you can erase it and you can put a put a new curve like let's say this one I feel like it's a little bit on the wonky side so I'm going to erase it and then I'm going to put in a round corner just like that. So you can do that as well. As long as you've got this nice rectangle with rounded corners, you're on the right track. All right, so we've got the head. Let's go ahead and add his ears. Um, his ears are two round circles that come off the side of his head. So actually, you know what they really look like to me? They look like the letter C. I'm going to make a giant C over here. And then I'm going to do a backwards C over here. 
And I'm gonna do the same thing again, except much smaller. Backward C in the middle, forward C in the middle. So now I've got my monkey's head, or gorilla I should say, and his two ears. All right, so he's coming along. Let's add his body. Let's just finish his overall shape. So on the bottom of the head, I'm going to start over here on the corner. I'm gonna make a rainbow shape down to the left, see that? And then on the right side, I'm gonna do the same thing, but I'm gonna make a rainbow shape going over to the right. And there we've got his silhouette, so we can see his overall shape. Now we're gonna start adding in those details. So, right here on the bottom, I want you to make a wavy M, just like that. That's gonna be the belly of our gorilla, and that's gonna be a different color. So I started at the bottom of the page, I went up to make the first hump, went down to make the bottom, and then back up, and it looks like a big wide M. Okay, that's gonna be his belly. Now I'm gonna make that same shape, but I'm gonna make it up here on his head because if you look at the example, he also has this sort of wonky M shape. So let's do it together. We're gonna to start on the left side and we're gonna start about right where that ear is. And I'm gonna put a little curve right there. So I'm gonna zoom in so you can really see. There's my ear, I put in a little curve. This is gonna be like a little marker for me. It's gonna help me out. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So I've got my ear, I'm gonna scoot it in, and I'm gonna make that little round shape, okay? So I'll zoom in so you can see. Looks like little smiley faces, just little curves. These are just gonna help me to get the overall look that I want. Now I'm gonna go back to that first curve and here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna round it out and around. I'm gonna scoop it down, come back up. So I'm getting that wonky M shape and I'm gonna complete it over here on this side. So see how I went out to the left? I'm gonna go back here and I'm gonna go out to the right and match it up. So if you look at the two shapes, you'll see that this wonky M looks a lot like that wonky M, doesn't it? So we're just copying it. And don't worry if it doesn't look exactly like mine, that's fine. To be honest, none of my drawings ever come out the same two times. They just don't, even when I'm trying. So I don't even try anymore. Now I just wait for the surprise to see what it's gonna look like. All right, so let's continue with the face we're going to go back to that first curve and we're going to curve it down and around. So I put the letter C, do you see that? There's a letter C. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side, except I'm gonna do a backward C, just like the ear. Backward C and stop there. Now I'm gonna turn my page to the side because I want those two bottom lines to touch each other. And I just wanna draw a straight line across to combine them. Okay, so now I've created that inside part of the gorilla's face. And now we could start adding his face details. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna make a big giant M in the middle. And I'll show you what it looks like because this is gonna be his nose. I didn't realize there's a lot of M shapes in him. All right, so I'm gonna start in the middle. Remember where we made those curves? That's about where his nose is gonna be. I'm gonna draw one big hump. Whoopsies. And another big hump. Okay, so I've got these curve corners and it looks like an M again. You see that? It's totally looking like an M. I'm gonna zoom in so you can see inside of the M, we're gonna make little sunflower seeds. Anyway, that's what they look like to me, but these will be his nostrils. So to make a sunflower seed, we are starting like a teardrop. We start with a point, we come around and go back to that point. 
So that's a giant one. We're gonna put two small sunflower seeds into our gorilla's nose. There we go. And we can even color those sunflower seeds in because his nostrils would be black. All right, so we've got his nose. Now you can see his nose coming along. Um, let's add his eyes. Now he's grumpy, so his eyes are not gonna be smiley. They're going to be on a diagonal. That kind of makes people look angry. So above the right nose, the right nostril, I want you to draw a diagonal line, just like that. Up in this top right corner. And do the same thing on the left side. Come over to the left nostril, make a diagonal to the left. Okay, so these are his eyebrows. He's got these eyebrows. Now connecting below the line, I want you to put a circle. Nice big round circle. One on the right. And of course, he needs another one for his other eye. One on the left. So I've got two circles. I'm going to put a highlight in there. I'm going to put another smaller circle on the inside. And when I color this eye in, I'm not going to color that inside circle. I'm only coloring around the outer circle. Okay, so I'm filling it in, but I'm leaving that little area white. That little circle that we put inside, I'm not going to color that in. I'm going to leave it white so you can see the highlight. Makes it look like his eyes are shining. All right, and last but not least, let's draw his mouth. His mouth is also shaped like a sunflower seed. So I'm going to start on the left. I'm going to go around and back to a point got a big sunflower seed shaped mouth and we're gonna make it look like he's got his teeth showing so we're gonna draw straight lines about four of them one leave some space two leave some space three leave some more space and put the fourth one there so there we can see he's got that kind of uh, angry face but he would be a very fun, grumpy character in a story if you had one. All right, and then you can color him. You can make him any color you'd want. Um, I'll show you my original again so you can see how I colored him. All right, there he is. He's a cute little grumpy gorilla. All right, guys, I hope you had fun. I hope you're staying safe and welcome back to school. I know a lot of you have started again. Uh, wishing you all the best. All right, see you next week. Bye, guys.